Know the causes of cloudy amniotic water. Amniotic fluid is clear or slightly yellowish under normal circumstances. However, several things can cause cloudy amniotic fluid. This condition is important to know because it can be a sign of a problem in pregnancy that can have an impact on the health of the mother and fetus. While in the womb, the fetus is protected by a sac filled with amniotic fluid. This amniotic fluid has several benefits for the health of the fetus while in the womb. The following are the benefits of amniotic fluid. Protect the fetus from external impacts, for example when you fall. Assists the development of organs, such as the digestive and respiratory systems of the fetus. Allows the fetus to move, so that the bones and muscles develop properly. Protects the fetus from infection. Helps keep the temperature in the uterus warm. Prevents the umbilical cord from being pinched which will reduce the supply of oxygen to the fetus. Causes of cloudy amniotic fluid. Cloudy amniotic fluid is a sign of a problem in pregnancy. There are several things that can cause amniotic fluid to become cloudy, including 1. Chorioamnionitis. Chorioamnionitis is a bacterial infection of the amniotic sac and fluid that occurs before or during labor. These bacteria usually come from the vagina or urinary tract of the mother. This condition can cause premature birth or sepsis in the mother and baby. Apart from being the cause of cloudy amniotic fluid with a greenish or yellowish color, this infection also causes fever in pregnant women, the uterus becomes soft and the amniotic fluid smells bad. Chorioamnionitis needs to be treated with antibiotics. If this amniotic infection causes fetal distress or the mother's condition worsens, then delivery may need to be done as soon as possible. 2. Meconium. Meconium is excreted by the fetus after its digestive system is fully developed. Amniotic fluid mixed with meconium can change color to reddish, greenish, or brown. This condition can be caused by several reasons, such as pregnancy over time or the baby experiencing stress in the womb. Meconium mixed with amniotic fluid poses a risk to the baby's inhalation. If this happens, meconium can block the baby's airways and reduce oxygen levels in his body. In certain cases, this condition can even cause the baby to experience breathing difficulties immediately after birth or a few hours after. 3. Hemolytic Anemia in Infants Cloudy and yellow amniotic fluid indicates the presence of bilirubin in the amniotic fluid. Excessive bilirubin in the amniotic fluid can be caused by hemolytic anemia in infants. Apart from the several conditions above, the presence of maternal or fetal blood in the amniotic fluid can also cause the amniotic fluid to become cloudy and reddish in color. Meanwhile, dark-colored amniotic fluid can indicate that the fetus has died in the womb. To ensure that the health of the mother and fetus is maintained, consult your obstetrician regularly to undergo pregnancy checks. During the examination, the doctor will carry out a physical examination and ultrasound of the pregnancy. The purpose of routine pregnancy checks is to minimize and prevent unwanted things from happening during pregnancy, one of which is marked by changes in the color of the amniotic fluid to become cloudy.
my ass. 